I'll be drilling a hole in my countertop for my faucet. I'll be using a force and a bit for that. Okay. That was done neatly, I think. Just a little bit of sanding, and then I'll cover the exposed area with some uh, polyurethane. Still have a space here below the countertop, and the faucet has to go through there as well. I'm using my blue wetty. There we are. And before I install the faucet, I'll just cover these bare spots up with some polyurethane. So, here, here is my faucet. I will only install the top, the, the visible part, because I'm working at the plumbing underneath. So, I'll be doing that later. Okay, now Okay, that's good Now we still have to test what they call the gravity ball just a heavy weight on that supply line which pulls the nozzle back in that just slides back in. Still have to finish it underneath but I can use it here. The uh, sink is a little bit wider than it is right now but it's gonna be out here so it's really at a good location. Um, this is on and off and hot and cold and whatever uh, and probably doing driving I'll probably do this way and maybe I can turn it all the way out of the way. Well, we'll see how that works out in practice. But I think it's a nice accessory. A very small addition to the van. And it's going to be a clothesline. Uh, that's just for those situations uh, that you're stuck at a place. You maybe not can move out because of mud or rain or something. or And I need to do a small wash some clothes or something. At least I have an option to pull this out and hang those clothes up inside the van uh, overnight. Um, so I decided to put it up here in this corner. I already made two little holes. I have to add this clip first. And as you can see, you just have to turn it open first. You can pull out the wire and then when it's out at the right length, they lock it in. To support the line, I have these little hooks which I'll pre drill. So the idea is that I pull it out here. Put it behind there and get it to the other side. Then I still need more. And then get it out there. But now it's locked here, so I got a wire here, a wire there, and a third one or less. It depends on, on what the need is. And I can hang some clothes on here at night to dry or maybe a raincoat. When you get uh, inside late at night when it rains and you have to go out with a dog. I know I won't use it often, but uh, from experience I, I know it's uh, quite handy uh, 
once in a while. I started working on the cabinet doors, cut it uh, all out of uh, half an inch plywood, so I've got a few pieces for two uh, closets, uh, so there's more to do. And now I'll be uh, covering them uh, with Formica. So I ordered uh, three more 4x8 sheets of uh, Formica, the laminate, uh, and that arrives in a fairly small box. Uh -huh. It is rolled up. And in my case, uh, three, I got uh, three sheets, two different types. It's uh, both white, it's the same white color. For the inner sides, I use the matte, more resistance against uh, fingerprints and so on. And on the outside, because of how it looks, I have a glossy form. This one, by the way, is the matte, and then two glossies as well. Uh, there's also price difference, but that's, uh, that's another story. Do I do that this way? That's better. There we go. Okay, you can see it's been cut to size and I have about a quarter inch overhang, which is nice because you save a little bit uh, on the formica. You lose quite a bit by cutting and oversizing, but this fits well. Uh, this is probably the, the first out of 20 or so, gets easier. Um, and this is just for the inside. So I'm cutting these for the inside. As soon as that's glued on it, I'll drill the holes for the hinges. And when those are done, then I'll start with a glossy formica, which uh, is gonna be applied on the outside of the panels. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.